Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Space Marine. We, uh, in the last part we just defeated the Erst or uh, like mini boss me, the Nork Knob, who later again will become a standard mob and you will have to deal with him a lot more. Uh, but for this bit, you know, he was like he was like your introduction to the um, to the struggle system in terms of uh, where you when you uh, with uh, with the knobs uh, was it the Chaos Champions uh, when you defeat him you need to struggle with him by spamming the mouse button um, see if you can kill him. Obviously it's a bit slow because there's his, his talking going on in it uh, so you can't actually do your run which I hate it really bugs me to be honest but you know what are you gonna do I think mean, it's probably the last one as I said uh, I'm still recording this is actually the 20th of September when I'm recording this so you guys won't see this until God, when is it uh, November December there we go and uh, this is our first time with the yellow one but it's a bit of a cutscene before we can do that Let's just walk in I'll stay quiet for the cutscene Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts have returned to forward base. Oh, I changed my mind. I'm going to watch it. Uh, basically, yeah, so that is the person who's in charge of the Imperial Guard for basic human forces on uh, this planet. Uh. I don't know, yeah, yeah, uh, pretty experience going on. Hang on, this is, this is the first, this is the Fury Seal. Uh, and now you unlock the Fury. Basically, when that bar gets all filled up with gold there, you can um, unlock it. Here we go. Now we're pressing T. And basically, you go absolutely back, it's insane, and you start tearing it up. Everything, regaining half, it's brilliant. Um, so, anyway, the backstory, I realized I completely skipped over that opening cinematic for you guys. So, you actually have no idea of what the story is. Um, this is a one of the many planets owned by the Imperium of Man. Um, and it's, uh, it basically has um, a Titan production facility on it. Titans are huge, massive manned machines. You will see it later on, it's awesome. Um, Basically, the Orcs are invading, and there's a risk uh, that it could fall into their hands, and that would be very, very bad. Um, Get me that field manual. But yeah, uh, so the Orcs are invading. We've uh, us, the Space Marines, have come uh, to stop it and protect the Titan. As you can see, the Orcs have only just sort of arrived. They're not really in full swing yet, but they are destroying pretty much everything. As you can see, the Orcs have. Uh, a lot of the uh, interesting technology. Here we go, just a couple of walks, just nothing particularly challenging. Oh, wait, I'll, 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 I'll show you here. This is Fury. Basically, uh, it gets better and better as you uh, unlock more versions of it. As you can see, you, you, your attacks are much more powerful. Um, if you're low on health, it's excellent time to use it because uh, every time you deal damage, or even being in a furious state, regenerates your health. Um, now let's see, I'm just using it now to show you guys what it's exactly like. There you go, it's already run out. Um, and that's because once the bar is empty, it drains as you go along. As you do more, uh, that's it, you know, it's over. Um, what's the best time to use it when you're facing particularly tough enemies? Um, when you face some particularly tough enemies, or uh, perhaps you know you're low on health and you need to regenerate. I see if, 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 uh, the bar regenerates pretty uh, quickly, so you can always you can kind of chain it in that you know, it doesn't take too long to replenish everything and use it again. And obviously, particularly when you're having little fights like this, with enemies aren't particularly strong um, it's quite easy to regenerate it and save it it, it won't like decay as time goes over um, you will keep it as whatever level it is unless uh, you like start a new chapter or whatever um, okay. let me start uh, reload my bolter so here we go it's some grenades and some ammo 
collected. Now loot those boxes there I want to use. Once you've used them, that's it. Again, you can't uh, replenish again from that particular box. Um, yeah, the orcs are basically idiots. Um, they're not particularly bright. Um, as yeah, it's charged, not coming to fury. Um, they're not particularly bright. They're basically dead. All they want is to fight. Um, and they're, they're good at it, you know. Uh, but as as, you know, if there's no one to fight, they fight themselves. They're not particularly bright. Um, I think like the, the, the saying in lore wise is, you know, if the orcs ever actually proper, properly unified, there wouldn't be a force in the galaxy that could stop them. And that's unfortunately true, as you see here. They, they, they're, you know, they're, they're formidable. Um, I mean, you know, space marines are seven foot tall. You don't really need superhumans. They, they, uh, you know, armor that's a foot thick. Um, and you can hope. The, the, the orcs are as tall as the space marines and just as strong. Um, and that's obviously without any armor or anything. So, they, they are, uh, your standard orc is formidable. Um, don't really want to piss one off. Um, so that's sort of the whole saying, you know, if the orcs ever truly, you know, unified, and they do sometimes. Um, they have like, like this is what they do now, it's called the warg. Here we go, let's just have some people pick up a heavy bolter. Man, heavy bolter. Now it's two to tear it off. This is where things get fun because it's is brilliant. Uh, you do quite a bit of damage as you can see, but you know, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, so every now and then, uh, like a, a particular orb will rise to power. She went lot five half earlier, not too bad. So we'll actually win it. Um, an orb will rise particularly to power. Um, and they will lead the orcs in a war, in a war. Um, in the war, basically they will go to other planets and just demolish it, um, and they'll keep fighting until, you know, they're finally beaten. And even then, uh, they grow like potato, uh, like potato mushroom people. There we go, that's every belt done. Um, if you've seen like Lord of the Rings, you know when they grow the, uh, Urukai, Got, um, this, I remember. They, they, they grow in the orcs out of the um, uh, out of the ground like potatoes. That's basically what happens to orcs. They are uh, reproduced by spores. In that, when they die, I'm freaking made of myself, fucking moron. <laughs> when um, when they die, they release uh, a whole load of spores. The spores then float around, um, and they find a dark, damp place where they uh, grow and walk for a walk. Um, these are cute. They're actually, actually surprisingly brutal sometimes. It's quite uh, interesting. But yeah, so when they, uh, the spores find somewhere dark to grow, and they grow into the entire orc, uh, which is more like the thing, you know. Um, if uh, that's how we orc invasions is that wherever they go, they will probably regrow and come back later. It's very hard to actually get rid of an orc uh, because they just keep coming back. Um, right my way. So this one with the camera control being a bit of a bitch. Um, but yeah, so orcs are very hard to kill, and that's when they, their bodies tend to be burned quite quickly after a battle um, to stop the spores being released. And uh, yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry, I, I, I still haven't had time to eat today. It's, yeah, it's like uh, 20 to 12 now. I'm just going to be going out at 1 for my uh, like a job office tour thing. And I have to have a shower, I have to eat, I have to everything. Um, instead I'm recording for you guys. The orcs hold the trenches beyond the ruins and the battlements beyond that. And the gun battery. No, it isn't being particularly accurate. I said we teach you something about accuracy. I like that. Um, so yeah, basically the thing so far is the orcs are pretty much running wild. Um, a lot of the Imperial Guard forces are taken by surprise and killed off. Um, there's not really many left. Um, yeah, not too good for us. We're basically, there's space all over the world, but uh, in, in the 
but in the actual story. Uh, but we're the only ones in this part, and we're the ones looking to secure the um, the Titan. And you see, now when we started the game, that was that big cannon right there. Uh, so we're getting quite close now. We're looking, you know, we need to disable it, um, and that's because it's being used by the orcs to stop reinforcements being flown in. Stalker Bolter. This is basically a bolter with a sniper rifle attachment, uh, which is quite awesome. It doesn't have as many shots, uh, but it doesn't need as many. Because uh, obviously it's designed so you can just sit back and sniper stuff. And uh, you, you will encounter more guns as you progress uh, further into the game. Okay, it's going to go for about 10 minutes. I mean, I'll probably end it That's here. That's where the orcs the gun battery. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. There just aren't enough of us. You have survived this long on your own, Lieutenant. You have done well. But you are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. We will get your reinforcements. So, yeah, three space marines against a horde of orcs trying to retake a massive gun so the Imperial Guard can get reinforcements. New objective, enter for gun fortress. So I'm going to end it here, and I will see you guys next time when we play more Space Marine. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.